Hello everyone, this is Carolina with Hoochly.com. Happy New Year to everyone. I hope everybody had a great time. I know I did. It was super fun and today is my first pairing of the year and I'm going to start with something that is probably going to be new to a lot of people. If you are into like the cigar Facebook groups, you have probably seen pictures of this new cigar uh, made by actually a Facebook friend of mine that just like me and everybody else out there that is really into the uh, cigar communities on Facebook, his dream was like any dream of ours is to uh, make his own cigar. He actually went down there to Nicaragua had the connections, found a uh, manufacturer, and he started blending and doing it, and he's doing it, so good for him. So, this one is the Jasmine Crawl by Riste Bach. You've probably seen his name around in the uh, Facebook groups. Riste uh, came up with this cigar not too long ago, and he was very kind enough to send me this cigar. Um, I've had probably three, four of them before from the sampler pack that he sent to me. And it is a very powerful, for being his first blend and his first time in the business, this is powerful, full flavor, full body, um, medium to full strength, really good cigar. There's so many tobaccos in this cigar that it makes it very... Uh, it's just like the transitions is very is very complex you get a ton of different flavors in there and it's a little bit of an ass kicker so because of that I'm gonna be pairing it up with a very smooth bourbon and this is something that is new to me this is the Wathens Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey made at the um, what is this the let me see if it says here in the back of the bottle Charles Midley Distillery in Kentucky. I was trying to do a little bit of research on this bourbon. I've never seen it before and this bottle actually was gifted to me at a little get together that I had here the other day. One of my guests brought me this bottle. I really liked it. It was very smooth so I thought that it would go really well with a very uh, strong cigar just like the soaps, uh, just like the uh, Jasmine Crawl cigar. So um, again, I was trying to do a little research on this bourbon and I couldn't really find much. It's one of those bourbons that you really don't have enough information. The website doesn't give you a lot. Pretty much everything is in the bottle. Uh, it's a 94 proof. There is no age statement um, on it. There is no uh, mush bill. You can't find really anything on it. Um, but it is a single barrel and the things that I was reading about it, some people speculate that it's about a seven uh, year old, but who knows. Um, let's see what else we can tell from this bottle. Uh, being a single barrel, each one's going to be different from the other one, a little different. Uh, my bottle comes from barrel number 8910. It was hand bottled on September 14 of 2015 so that's all we know about it it is um, very smooth like I said and that's probably why they say that it's about a seven-year-old uh, bourbon you get kind of like that butterscotch little butterscotch on the nose and like caramel Oh, so smooth. The butterscotch carries to the palate and you get a little bit look at um, sweet vanilla. And that the vanilla, the caramel, the butterscotch stays with you for a long time. It's got a very long, smooth finish. So let's get to the cigar, shall we? It's a very like, um, like a milk chocolate color to it. It's got the cover food, which I really like. And cigars, um, it just helps. Well, it looks good. It looks, it looks fun, uh, but also it helps the burn. It helps it burn really evenly. And then it's got the piggy tail right here, if you can tell. So, reminds me of like a custom-made Cuban, something like that. Hmm. Can't wait to do this again. 
I'm being very careful with my five pack because I don't want to smoke them all at once and then then not have any for my videos or anything so I was looking on his website uh, jasmcrawl.com and then he sells them there by box and a five pack I think a five pack of this is about sixty dollars um, I was talking to Restave earlier today and then he tells me that he's gonna come up with a new blend for the fall so really excited to try that one as well really perfect burn right there uh, this one that I'm smoking it's a Toro it's a 6x52 and the I was telling you at the beginning of the video the amount of tobaccos that goes in this is crazy. It's got an Ecuadorian Habano wrapper, it's got a Mexican San Andres binder, and a Jalapa binder. So it's half and half on the binder. Um, I think it's a Jalapa Seco binder. And then the filler, it's got like five different kinds, and I hope that I can remember it all. It's like a Corojo 99, um, Esteli Viso, a Jalapa. Ligero and then a Jalapa, um, trying to remember what it is, a Seco. Um, so four different types of uh, Nicaraguan fillers. It's a lot of, lot of stuff going on in here. Um, and with those different types of tobaccos, you get a lot of uh, flavor in here. Initially on the first puffs, You get like a creaminess, um, like a cocoa, coffee, all those nice rich flavors. And like a cinnamon spice too. That's really, that's really what stands out is that cinnamon spice mixed with the sweet creaminess, um, like a dessert creaminess to it. And it really, by smoking this, I smoked again like three of this before, that creaminess stays all throughout the cigar. Once you get to like the last third of it, you start getting a little bit of a, like a peppery, like a white peppery taste to it. So it's really good overall cigar. The construction is perfect. The draw is unbelievably good. No effort whatsoever on, on the draw. It's really, really good. Wonderful. Oh, okay. Definitely. Great pairing right here. This is so smooth and sweet. It's got those caramel vanilla notes and really offsets a little bit that the powerfulness of this cigar is by itself or with something like a coffee or something like that, um, you probably miss on a lot of the flavor. This, something smooth like this, definitely a great pairing. So there you have it. The Jessam Crow or JSK as you've seen it in uh, social media probably. And the Wathens Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Perfect pairing right there. Happy New Year again to everybody and I will see you next time. Cheers.